So I don't understand it. I don't know if it'll work with the the Anki as well. But with the Doty, you just fly up to a rock. <laughs> and it automatically destroys it. Uh which if it works with the Anki not sure why you'd even need the platform but uh yeah so as you can see our carry weight on the dyno in the top right corner is not going up very high even though the doty has hit quite a few because the carry weight is based on the uh the anki's carry weight So, oh, we lost him. Let's see if I can break free this pteranodon. Run free. You're welcome. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, maybe I just wasn't flying low enough. They take a little bit to get used to. Or is that... See, right there. It was pretty much in the stone. Um, we'll double check when we get back again. Alright, let's head back and see. I'm, th I'm thinking it is a one-half carry weight limit to the auto swing. Which... Is a little unfortunate. I was hoping it was gonna be a pretty crazy, uh, crazy workaround. But let's see. Oh, let's see what we got. Two twenty-two. Yeah. So it looks like once it reaches one half, that's that's kind of the limit to when it'll auto swing. But also, I think I got off trough off topic surprise surprise the reason i'm not planting the x plants is because of the taming pen when you when we fly in the dinos to be tamed depending on where the dino pen is we can't have x plants too close because it'll get a uh, in range of the x plants and just trank them out or not trank them out but it'll out, it'll damage them oh you're female 34 it's not that great but better than i thought you were um but yeah, so we, I'm not sure, maybe, no, I can't do it up on the cliff, maybe over here somewhere, again, we want it fairly far from the base, because we don't want our X plants to reach, but not too far that we can't get there easily, but this is a fairly close, I don't think the X plants will reach, if they do, we can turn them down to medium, or low if need be. So this might be where we build it. It'll be pretty much the same as our other taming pen that we built. Um, but only 2 by 3 Only too high. And... We won't have to worry about like a Bronto knocking it down. I'm not sure how to tame another Bronto a different way. I guess, again, we only really need it for an egg. But if we have the female, there's a chance we can get an egg anyway, so. It's whatever, but. All right. Um, I will be back when we get the uh, taming pen up and running. What were you, 23? Uh, it's not really worth using Dilo Kibalon. I haven't even made it yet. Honestly, anything under... In a PvP, I wouldn't, I wouldn't use kibble on anything less than 100, but at the same time, on a PvP server, you never know when you're going to get attacked, so there's not really a point to saving a lot of stuff. Until you're a really secure tribe with really good defenses, it really doesn't make any sense to really hold on to much, because... 
anybody at any point can come and just take whatever they want, pretty much. So, I will be back. There you are. I thought I'd lost ya. So now, it's not tricky, but it's it's something that takes a little bit of time to get used to when to drop the dino to get it into the pen. So that's where you can make it bigger and it's just a little easier. I probably should do th three wide, but we'll try this for now. And again, that's the whole point of this. Just see what works best. Yeah, right in there. So, I actually don't even have my... Um, long neck rifle on me. I'm not sure how many it will take to knock out with the crossbow. I have an armored skull, so obviously it's a little tougher. We could have put some more windows in, but again, it's so much easier, in my opinion, just to... Come up here and shoot down. You can see the entire pen. And just shoot down if we really needed to. Oh, let's jump. Um, we could open this up and shoot at him, and he would run to the door, and just his head would be sticking out. So there's that. Um, but yeah, I gotta go grab the long neck. And. Go ahead and All get right. this. Alright, so as predicted, my design would have a flaw from the start. Uh, we don't need a door in there because we can use our Quetzal to scoop them back out, but it would be a lot easier if I just put a, a dino door in there. Uh, <laughs> I looked it up on Dodo Dex. Again, it's a, a great tool. And it should only take seven shots to take this level 23 down. But with the Trank Darts, again, just don't forget to give it a little bit of time in between. Um, <coughs> because it takes a little bit for the Narcotic, or for the Trank Arrow to take effect. The Trank Dart with the Long Neck, I guess, is pretty quick. But the Trank Arrow takes a little bit. And there we go. Now, it should also only take 17 crops, and again, that's why we, one of the reasons we want the greenhouse is because it's a lot better than using mayo berries. The Anki would prefer Dilo kibble, but again, this is a level 23. If I can find a 100 plus, then yeah. It would be worth it, but it's just not worth it, in my opinion. Um, so their torpor goes down fairly slow, so we shouldn't need any narcotics to keep them going. So I'll be back. The modifications are done. Dino gate, one extra wide, plenty of room in here if I can walk up. This guy, fairly hungry, but again, it's not the, highest level, so we'll just, uh, risk it that it might fill its food bar and then not, uh, not want to take any more. But I think that's going to do it. And there we go. Our first Anki. Female too, so we can get some eggs. A few. Uh, stop following. Behavior. All the normals. Because again... Let's say something did come into the base. And I whistled everything that I had. That was like a defending dino. Right now it's just a Pego, but eventually I'll get like... Some raptors and carnos and stuff like that that can just are fairly quick and can easily get to um, 
anything that's attacking. Give me back my carrots. And if everything on your base is on keyed whistles and you whistle all to attack target, the base just goes insane. And it honestly takes a while to get everything lined back up if you accidentally have some still on heed whistle, so it's just a little easier if you leave stuff on ignore group whistles. But now I'll grab the saddle and we'll be good to go. This little lady's been creeping around our base long enough. I think she wants to join the crew. And again, Quetzal has no problem picking up even a trike. Um, but once you get the Quetzal, you can really start to tame some stuff. And again, if you're just going for eggs, like this is a level 6. Um, if it's not going to be for combat or utility other than eggs, you, there's really no point in getting a high level one, because it's just not necessary. So again, we'll just use the tranks. Then use some of our crops. Yeah, level C. We would have went for like a, you know, 100, 120. It would have taken a lot longer, a lot more resources just to knock it out, and we just don't need that. Now, we get some crops. And then I'll have to find a male, and we finally have our, our trikes that we lost on the journey. I guess we only lost one. But, so while I'm here, let's go. 73, that's fine. I have been doing some work. And we got the materials to make a few things. I, to start, will... Make some behemoth gates. Well, just one, because <laughs> the gate plus the the door for it takes 1,350 of everything. 1,350 1, stone, thatch, and wood. So, it's a lot. And again, all that. So, that's 1,350 stone, 1,350 wood, 1,350 thatch. And it now weighs eight pounds combined. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so yeah, that that is made. And then the bigger one, the more exciting one. I don't know if we're quite there yet. Uh, did a couple metal runs. Had to go to some further regions because I just didn't. I didn't give it time to respawn on the one that's closer. Because I want to make kibble. Oh, what are we missing? So, a little bit of expensive paste. That should be working over here. 66, yep. So, I just took the Quetzal, Fortune, and Bloody Bat out. I didn't bring everybody because with the Quetzal, is the, the carry weight is it pretty much cancels out needing to bring the other ones. So, as you can see, I got a bunch of crystal, I got a bunch of metal, obsidian, oil we had. Um, but so I turned some of the obsidian into some more polymer. That's where our cementing paste went as well. So I had to kill a ton of turtles and trikes and whatnot. So I had to make a chest just for chitin and keratin because I had so much. But so... We, we were able to scrounge up 300 polymer. I didn't feel like going up to the... Um, the ice region and killing penguins. Uh, ah, what are we missing here? Yeah, see, we... So now, 
like I said, I'm going to have to probably figure some more stuff out. Because I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty sure it'll fit there. That should be no problem. Okay, so yeah, that'll fit there. Yeah, it's not as big as I remembered. I was thinking it was more... I guess it's the same. That's a little smaller. But, so, we're going to have to run some piping in and see exactly how... We need to get this. Again, we want it close to our refrigerators so we can uh, just pivot out all the eggs and put it right in. So that's one thing I'll be working on is running the piping, see if I can get it to where it looks fairly nice. That uh, would be nice if I can get it looking nice. If not, I'll probably just run it off the back side of the base where we don't really use it anyway because... I don't know, like I said, I made this little porch, but it's not really serving a, a function at the moment. But so, we'll figure that out. And then we need a bunch more stone. I... <laughs> we had a, a, a casualty. Um, that first level... First level, that first Megalodon that we tamed, uh, a Manta came in. And started attacking it. Now I have, I've, I had Don Vito on neutral, so, because it happened once before, and if you thought the, the Quetzal's health was low when it was all said and done, I think the, the female Megalodon had a health of like 10 when I finally made it there, and the, the Megalodon, I just don't think it's natural AI is very good against the uh, mantas. I think the mantas are too fast. I guess I'll just put some points in. So he was just spinning in circles while it was attacking, because she was also up a little bit. I don't know if he could reach the the manta because of where the how high the the ground slopes. But so what we want to do is take a bunch of foundations and a behemoth gate so we can get our dinos in and out. And I think a raft? I'm pretty sure a raft will glitch through even with the all the structure on it. But we just want to wall this off. I'm not sure exactly how far I'm going to go. But we'll probably go... I don't even know. I mean, it would make sense, I guess, since this raises back up to do it alongside this. So it'll mostly just be a bunch of foundations on top of each other. And just keep out the unwanted dinos from coming in. It was actually piranhas. That's right, I forgot. It was a bunch of piranhas that were attacking. And that was, I think, even harder for Don Vito to attack. Or maybe he was just, you know, eating a cheeseburger, drinking a beer, smoking a cigarette. I don't know. He just didn't feel like helping his woman out. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of the, the plan again. Oh shit, I got that trike. <gasps> oh no, I forgot. Go out. Cool. Uh, you're pretty hungry. We'll, we'll give you 18 crops. Enjoy them. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so the usual. But yeah, I'll I'll be back with something to show you. Not sure what yet. <laughs> 